Hey everybody, um, today I'm here to share my design team project for Tsunami Rose, Daisy Collins. All the links will be in my description box to her shop and to her beautiful kits. I chose the Christmas list kit and um, wanted to share with you today how I decided to make my journal. I just used a craft colored file folder. They're actually really thick. And then I went ahead and I used some seam binding. I did color this seam binding with some pigment ink from Studio G. They just come in those little round uh, containers. And then I just tied some bows up here. There are two sewn in signatures. I inked the edges of my folder with vintage photo. And I used the cover um, that comes into the kit there. And it says Christmas list. And then the back is just very similar. I did a little punching. Uh, this has two signatures, as I said, and it did not do a page count, but it is pretty, pretty chunky. I didn't do a closure on this for a few reasons. Um, I, I'm not sure if it's going to be a Christmas kind of list journal or if I'm going to use it for December daily. So I'm not sure what, how I want to close that yet. So I just left it as is, and I'm pretty happy with that. I left the inside cover blank for now. I might add some pockets or something like that later on. This is a postcard envelope that comes in the kit. And I stuck it in here so that I could put in some, you know, notes or anything I want to keep. And then I have um, a bunch of the printables throughout. I did coffee dye my papers. Uh, Daisy's come with that vintage look, so I didn't have to do anything to hers. I did a little stamping. Um, there's some sentiments up here. And then I used a piece of parchment paper that I had used during the, the coffee dyeing process. And I made a pocket there. I did use some of the ephemera from um, Daisy's ephemera kits that I had printed out here and there. Oops. I just think these papers are really beautiful. I love, this was, um, I think, my favorite kit to date to work with. I did leave quite a few blank pages because, as I said, I wanted to have the option to make lists or possibly use this as you know a December daily. These were in here. These were from another kit that I had printed um, off, and I just thought that you know I might as well stick them on in here. I th could do some journaling on the back. Uh, that piece is also from, um, I believe, uh, Parisian Daydream. A couple more pieces in there that I had left over um, from other kits. I don't. I hate to waste the beautiful, beautiful printables. Some ledger paper here and I have a little tuck and I just backed this with some craft card stock to make it a little sturdier. And then in here I did make a pocket and I just have some spots for journaling and then um, one of the beautiful printables here with some music paper. Again I backed that with some craft colored card stock. At the middle of a first signature I have another piece of ledger paper that flips out. And then here I um, have one of these bags, but I went ahead and put a printable here so that it made a pocket. And then, of course, you have the pocket from the actual bag, so it served as a double tuck. Another envelope here that you can, you know, put some, put some items in. I'm not used to keeping my journals, you know, quite as bare, but I really wanted to have the option to write in this one. I find that sometimes I have them so full that I really don't have much room, you know, to do anything left. So I've really been trying to scale back on that. I really like how this turned out. I um, thought that was a really cool effect. It, it's like the blue from the actual notebook paper. It gets into the coffee there and it makes that really cool effect. These pages are just stunning. Be sure to check out Daisy's shop. She just put a new kit in. Um, it's a tea party and dessert based kit and it is amazing. I cannot wait to get my hands on that kit. <laughs> so, you know, as I said, I'm going to put the links in my description box along with the, the links to Daisy's group and um, blog. So please be sure to check that out. Another kind of a double envelope deal here. I put the envelope in. I glued another envelope onto the front so that you could put stuff in here. 
and then also utilize this envelope. So I also use some more ephemera from Daisy's Beautiful Kits. Here's an envelope I just put in there, you know, just to put whatever you'd like in. This is just a greeting card that's blank. Add some stuff in there. Another tuck with just some journaling paper. This is an envelope that I turned and I cut the top off of and I just put some coffee dyed journal paper in there as well. And I think we're coming to the end here. There's one more bag with a piece of journaling paper. And that is it. I hope you liked my journal. I hope you enjoyed my video. And again, please, please go on over and check out Miss Daisy's shop. She is an amazing, amazing digital creator. As always, thank you for watching. Bye.